We're about one quarter into the NBA 2020-2021 NBA season. NBA All-Star voting has been going on, and the league has announced that it's going to be taking place most likely in Atlanta. I think they, the dates that they were looking for were like March 5th through the 10th for an NBA All-Star weekend. And I'm here to give my opinions and thoughts on the NBA All-Star Weekend as well, along with voting and players and all of that nonsense. But hey man, let's stop wasting time and let's hop right into this video though. So first of all, I want to start off by saying I do not think the NBA should have an All-Star Weekend and I mean that wholeheartedly. Last year, we saw these players go into a bubble. These guys had to be separated from their family and friends for a extended period of time, especially if they were in the bubble and they were continuously progressing throughout the playoffs. But what this sacrifice these coaches and players have had to make this year with travel restrictions, with being tested every day, with the limitations of who they're in contact with, how they can practice and everything that they've been faced with due to COVID protocols, why are we having an NBA All-Star Weekend? or a game in general. Everybody on the other side, in my opinion, wants to make the argument that, well, if you can play games and you can still play regular season games and do all these things, then why can you not go and play an NBA All-Star Weekend? Because the problem is that you're still putting players at risk regardless. Even if you do an NBA All-Star Weekend or a game, there is still a higher chance for exposure. You're still gonna be around players. Let's say, for example, a guy like Luka Doncic, who's obviously going to make an NBA All-Star game, knock on wood i wish him nothing but the best and the best health but let's say a player a top tier caliber nba all-star player gets covid or is exposed to COVID, and then that trickles down to the regular season when it resumes back and the player has to miss an extended period of time that ruins the team's chances of making the playoffs a team like the mavs who are already for example struggling to make the playoffs or even if you want to talk about a top tier guy like a kevin durant or a lebron james or any player in general we do not want to put these guys in circumstances where they have high chances of exposure, even with daily testing, even with games going on, you are still running the risk of these guys getting exposed or contracting the COVID-19 virus, which is not something I am okay with, and the league shouldn't be either. I don't want to hear about the argument that these players are still getting tested consistently. If the game is not necessary, you should not be playing it. Regular season games are necessary. The reason they limited it down to 72 games this year was because we are going to get the necessary games out. We're still going to have essentially a full season and we are not going to put these players and coaches in predicaments that could ultimately hurt them in the long run, which like I said, for playoff chances, it can. A guy like De'Aaron Fox said it perfectly. He's a guy, in my opinion, that I think is absolutely all-star worthy of making the team. But a lot of players came at him and a lot of fans came at him when he said that he thinks it's honestly stupid. And I'm going to put that clip right here for you guys to see. I uh, heard about the plans to possibly bring back the all-star game this weekend. Um, are, does that surprise you at all because of COVID-19 and all the conditions you guys are dealing with, traveling and everything? And uh, is that something that you've thought about personally for yourself as your play has improved, your team's play has improved? Uh, I mean, if I'm going to be brutally honest, uh, I think it's stupid. Um, you know, if we have to wear masks and do all of this uh, for a regular game, then what's the point of bringing the All-Star game back? But obviously, um, you know, money makes the world go round. So it is. As you can see, De'Aaron Fox, I think, said it perfectly. Why are we having an NBA All-Star game after everything that they've been through? Why are they doing this? People want to come at him and say, oh, De'Aaron's only mad because he's not going to make the team. And while that's pretty much going to be true, De'Aaron Fox is probably not going to make the NBA All-Star team. You guys want to sit here and clown this guy who's one of the best point guards in the league, one of the best young guys in the league. And he probably deserves an All-Star spot, but you guys want to come at him. Why? Like, it doesn't make any sense. But the moment a guy like LeBron James says that after everything that they've been through, why are they playing an all-star game? Which I will put that clip right here for you guys. This all-star game this year. Um, you know, I, I don't even understand why we're having an all-star game. Um, but it's the agreement that the Players Association and the league came about, um, you know, short off season for, for my all of a sudden you guys want to jump on the bandwagon and be like oh well if lebron james isn't going to play i don't think we should have an nba all-star game if lebron says this then we should do this and if the players do this then then we should do that no keep that same energy for a guy like a De'Aaron fox for a guy like lebron james look at the end of the day lebron james is the biggest male athlete in sports probably across the world up there with guys like ronaldo messi and a handful of other top tier athletes LeBron is on a completely different level of a guy like a De'Aaron Fox, but the fact of the matter is that they're both in the NBA, they're both playing at the top of their game, 
And De'Aaron Fox rightfully deserves a spot in my opinion. LeBron James is obviously going to make the NBA All-Star Game if they make it. But I do not think that they should be playing. If LeBron says so, that should definitely be your answer. But I've always been saying that they should not have been playing an All-Star Game regardless. Now that I've got that out of the way, I do want to talk about one guy specifically that I think absolutely deserves an All-Star nod this year that hasn't had one his entire career. Mike Conley. Mike Conley Jr. from his days back in Memphis, one of the best point guards, and I think one of the best players in this game to have never made an All-Star game, deserves this spot. Currently, right now, like I said, the Utah Jazz are sitting in the one seed, sitting at 17-5 and five with the best record in basketball. Mike Conley has been playing like the Mountain Mike that they've been searching for, and I have put a video out saying the Jazz are title contenders. I will link to that above. And Mike Conley is a big reason why, because you don't just need Donovan Mitchell, Boyan Bogdanovich, Jordan Clarkson, and all these guys to go out there and drop 30. You have a guy like a Mike Conley who has played much better, and he is the glue guy to this team, essentially, and he's that veteran leadership. We all know Mike Conley is one of the greatest players who have never made an all-star game, like I said, and I think he absolutely deserves this nod. I think Rudy Gobert gets in, and I think Donovan Mitchell possibly gets in. With the way this Jazz team is playing, they deserve three all-stars. If they get at least two, I can't knock them because the West is still absolutely stacked. But I think Mike Conley absolutely deserves this award. And we saw back in 2014, 2015, when the Atlanta Hawks had that 60 win season, we saw four guys from the Atlanta Hawks roster make it. We saw Jeff Teague, Paul Millsap, Al Horford, and Kyle Korver. The Jazz are looking like a similar team, even though I think the Jazz are much better than that 60 win Atlanta Hawks team for a multitude of reasons that's a topic for another day but Mountain Mike Conley deserves that award and I think he deserves that nod after what the Jazz have been doing and after everything he's been through in his career I think Mike Conley should deserve that award I just wanted to come out here and say that I don't think the NBA should be doing their all-star game they are probably still going to be doing an all-star game but personally I don't agree with it I think that this should just be a time for the players to get their rest be with their families and to isolate away from everybody and just get time to recuperate and get things back on track for this season i think an alternative would be that the nba just announces who would have made the all-star team who would have been the starters who would have been the reserves and that's that you do not need to be having these guys out there on the court like i said having a higher chance of exposure being around a city traveling and a multitude of reasons i think that a guy should be able to say hey look i made the all-star team this year good for me the times that we're living in we can't participate in these kinds of events but i'm grateful for the opportunity that's what I think should happen this year. And I think everybody should still get their awards, still get, should get their nods, and all of the above. But hey, man, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to like, share, and subscribe down below, it only takes a moment, and it helps me and the channel out tremendously. I'm going to link to my socials down on TikTok and Instagram as well. Make sure you guys go follow those as well. But that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much, and I'm out, boys. Peace.